What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Brian and I'm back with another video. And as you guys can see, my cleats are so beat up right now. They're so run down and it's time to change these cleats out for the summer. Now, as you guys can tell by the thumbnail, I'm rocking the S-Works Vent Road Bike Shoes. And these are my shoes of choice strictly because of the ventilation in the shoes especially when I'm riding during the summer um, my feet do get hot so you can see these cutouts here in the shoes um, they have excellent ventilation they definitely keep my feet cool during those hot summer days so these are the shoes that I went ahead and invested in so let's look at a pair of new cleats versus the old cleat and you guys can see the difference I mean my goodness these things have been beat up and destroyed so I'm sure you guys can agree with me that it's definitely time to replace these cleats these are the Shimano SH12 as you guys know the blue ones have two degrees of float and these are the ones that are most comfortable for me when I'm riding. We're gonna go ahead and get started. This pack comes with a pair of blue Shimano cleats. The hardware that these cleats come with is six flat washers and six bolts, three for each shoe. So I'm gonna save these new bolts and washers and just use my old hardware that are on the shoes already also I'm going to be using my multi-tool to take the hardware off and also I'll be using a permanent mark just to mark the existing position that my cleats are on currently I've already had my cleats fitted to the comfort that I like I have no issues when it comes to position or knee pain, so I'm just going to keep everything the same and not adjust the degree or angle of my cleats that I have on the shoe now. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab the marker and I'm just going to take that permanent marker and outline the position that my cleat is on currently. So you definitely want to make sure that you get the accurate marking so that you continue to have the specific degree and the specific angles that work best for you. You definitely don't want to compromise your comfort um, by being off a few degrees because you want your pedaling pattern to stay the same. Comfort is very key when you're riding long distances, so you definitely, like I said, don't want to compromise your comfort. So now I have it all marked up to the specifications that I like, then I'll just do the same thing for the left shoe. So I pretty much got both shoes marked up to the same degree and angle that is existing. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my multi-tool and remove these old cleats. Got 
the cleats off. Now you guys can see the markings. And just look at the difference in these cleats. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put those flat washers in place. And pop the screws in as well. before I make sure that everything is accurate. So now that I have the flat washers and the screws in place, uh, I'll just make a little adjustments here and there and tighten them up. Technically when you're doing this, you should use a small dab of grease for each of the nuts and washers just to make sure that they don't seize up on you but right now I don't have any grease so I'll just have to go without for right now so then I'm just going to do the same thing with the right shoe unscrew each screw remove the cleat the new cleat on there and now I'm just gonna screw everything back on everything back on everything looks good everything is adjusted to my liking and you guys can see the difference so it's a pretty simple process once you know the degree and angle of your cleats all you have to do is sort of outline where they were previously remove the old cleats and align the new cleats and just pretty much tighten them up and you're all set to go. All right, so I'm just gonna give you guys one last look. And I think I did a fantastic job, if I must say so myself. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for your comments. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if you like the content on the channel. We're definitely gonna add cycling vlogs soon. So make sure you guys be on the lookout for that. This is just a quick do-it-yourself video just to show people how easy it is to swap out your cleats yourself. So you don't necessarily have to go to a bike shop to do this. It's pretty simple. As you guys can see, these are a size 44. Thanks so much for watching.